church. How are we doing today? I hope you are super, super good and enjoying this day. Um, at time of recording, I'm looking out into the garden at it, and it is raining. So I hope today it is much brighter. Anyway, the weather won't stop us in reading God's word and really enjoying it this morning. Um, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whenever you may be watching this. So let's dive straight in. Uh, so today again, I'm gonna be sharing uh, like all the other, a few others that have done before, um, a scripture that just rings true. That's something that, you know, one of those go-to scriptures that we can uh, grab hold of in times of, uh, in need, not just in times of need, in just, you know, a random Thursday morning, whenever. So the Bible's there at all times. Um, so what I'm gonna be reading from today is uh, Lamentations uh, 3, 22 to 24. Side note, does anyone remember the game we played at church called uh, La Tete or Lamentete? It was brilliant. I really enjoyed that. Um, if you didn't, it was when uh, we read out either a line of a Taylor Swift song or a line out of Lamentations. You had to decide which was which. Great game. Loved it. Uh, okay, so Lamentations 3, 22 to 24, and I'm going to be reading from the message version today. God's loyal love couldn't have run out. His merciful love couldn't have dried up. They're created new every morning. How great your faithfulness. I'm sticking with God. I say it over and over. He's all I've got left. And the bit that I'm just going to focus on mainly today, obviously the scripture in itself, but it's that they're created new every morning. Um, this is definitely a statement that I rely on a lot if I'm in you know times of whatever and you just think that it's fine today is today but tomorrow is a new day that created new every morning but just a bit of background for you uh, so the main theme of lamentations is God's judgment on Judah's sin um, as well as his compassion for his people uh, lamentation contains uh, laments or loud cries for Jerusalem and many expressions of anguish and pain. But in chapter three, where we're reading from today, right in the middle of the book, there is a beautiful passage of confidence and hope. So Jeremiah's tone, that's the writer of the book, his tone changes from despair to hope in Lamentations 3. From here and the following verses, we know that even in the darkest times, God is faithful and will not cast off his people forever. Every day, Every morning, God shows his mercy and compassion. So if we look closer at Lamentations 23, 22 to 23, there's a couple of important themes that I just want to pull out. First is the Lord's loyal love. It abides even in times of trouble and God never stopped loving Israel despite his discipline of them. And as we know from history, God later restored his people and their land and blessed them again. The second theme of, is God's unfailing compassion or merciful love. Mercy in the Bible is God's withholding of a just punishment. The particular Hebrew word used in Lamentations 3.22 uh, is to do with tender love, great and tender mercy. So Jeremiah's statement that God's mercies are new every morning is related to the statement that follows, how great your faithfulness. And that the dawning of a new day could be seen as a symbol of God's light breaking through the darkness and his mercy overcoming our troubles. So every morning demonstrates God's grace and a new beginning in which gloom must flee. So there's just no expiration date on God's mercy towards us. His mercies are new every morning in that they're always available. So they're, new, they're just always there. We have our ups and downs, but God is faithful through it all. And with the dawn of each day become, comes a new batch of compassion made freshly available to us. So some mornings, I don't know about you, we may get up on the wrong side of the bed, but even there we'll find God's mercy awaiting for us. So just remember that church, that every morning they're created new. They're created new every morning, how great your faithfulness. 
Thanks so much, Church. It's been lovely to hang out and share with you today. I'll see you soon.